Welcome to 20 at Twilight, a weekly video post that provides a 20 minute guided meditation, a way of praying with scripture designed to provide a reflective and restful close to the day, focusing on and resting in the presence of God. I am Tracy Leslie, a certified spiritual director, life coach, and senior pastor at Trinity United Methodist Church in downtown Lafayette. From the rising of the sun to its setting, let the name of the Lord be praised. You, O oh Lord, are our lamp. You, O oh Lord, make our darkness bright. Light and peace in Jesus Christ. I want to invite you to breathe deeply. You may want to do a body scan. It means you just kind of uh, give your attentiveness to your body, beginning with your feet um, and then working your way upward to your head. Just noticing each area of your body, how it feels. Is it warm? It's cold. Do you have any tightness? Do you have any pain? And you're going to move from your feet to your legs, both your calves and your thighs. Again, noticing those same things. Do you feel any sense of heat? Any sense of tightness? Fatigue? Of pain? Moving to your abdominal area. Again, noticing the origin of your breath. As your tummy fills with air as you breathe in. And then contracts as the air empties out fully. You may even want to place a hand on your tummy. And just notice the gentle rise and fall. Try to keep your spine long so that your abdomen can fill with air so that there is space there. Moving from there to your shoulders, you might want to just give a gentle shrug backward and forward. Lift up and let down. How do your shoulders feel? Are they tight or tense? Notice your posture. And then if you follow those muscles up your neck again, you might want to just give some very gentle stretches from side to side. Notice if your neck is tight. See if you can relax your shoulders and your neck a bit more just by focusing on those areas.
finally relaxing your cheeks and then moving up to the area around your eyes. Just let your eyelids rest. Without any effort, don't try to shut them tightly, just allow them to rest. With the psalmist we proclaim, the Lord who keeps you will not slumber. He will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time on and forevermore. This evening, we're going to meditate with a healing story from the Gospel of Mark, Mark chapter 10, beginning at verse 46. They came to Jericho. But Jesus and his disciples and a large crowd were leaving Jericho. Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting by the roadside. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And he sternly ordered him to be quiet. He cried out even more loudly, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stood still and said, Call him here. And they called the blind man, saying to him, Take heart, get up, he's calling you. So throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. Then Jesus said to him, what do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, my teacher, let me see again. Jesus said to him, go. Your faith has made you well. Immediately. He regained his sight and followed Jesus on the way. This is the word of God. We all know that seeing can evolve more than just our eyes. In our English language, we often use the word see to designate something we understand or notice or comprehend, right? Oh, I see, we'll say, after someone has further explained something to us. Or we might say to someone with whom we're having a difficult conversation, something like, I can see that you're upset by this. We see beyond our eyes, and that's where our meditation will take us this evening. Perhaps there are places in your life where you are struggling to see, struggling to understand, struggling to accept, struggling to discern how to move forward. And Jesus asked, as he asked Bartimaeus, what would you have him do? Can you imagine, can you hear yourself saying, teacher, let me see. I'm going to read the scripture one more time. And this time after I read, I'm going to invite you to reflect on three questions that relate to seeing as vision or insight. So hear the story once more. They came to Jericho. But Jesus and his disciples and a large crowd were leaving Jericho. Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting by the roadside. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many 
sternly ordered him to keep quiet. But he cried out even more loudly, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stood still and said, Call him here. They called the blind man, saying to him, Take heart, get up, he's calling you. So throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. And Jesus said to him, what do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, my teacher, let me see again. Jesus said to him, go, your faith has made you well. Immediately, he regained his sight and followed Jesus on the way. So now I want to invite you to reflect and to enter in to a dialogue with God. As you examine today or maybe the last two or three days, the first question around which I invite you to reflect and dialogue with God is this one. Where did your eyes linger today? What did you see today that captured your attention? You may want to walk in your memory through your day as well as a way of considering what you saw and what drew your attention. Next, today or on a recent day, who do you recall truly seeing in a way that helps you understand them better? Again, today or over the last couple of days, who did you truly see in a way that helped you understand them better?
And as always, if you need some additional time to reflect and to converse with God, just pause this video and resume when you're ready. The last question for meditation and reflection is, who is someone either today or very recently that you failed to really see? You noticed them, but perhaps there was something deeper. You didn't take time to discern, or perhaps there was just something about them that left you feeling uncertain or unsettled. You knew you weren't seeing all that you needed to see. Take a moment to reflect around that. John O'Donohue writes, may your inner eye see through the surfaces and glean the real presence of everything that meets you. Lord God Almighty, keep us now in Christ. Grant us a peaceful evening and a night free from fear. Bring us at last to eternal life, resting in your presence. Through Christ and in the Holy Spirit, we offer you all glory, honor, and worship, now and forever. Amen. May you be held in the light that is Christ. Amen.